Hi, can you tell me who you are and what you do and the label Kuoko, can you tell me who and what it stands for? Who I am, what I do, what my label stands for. Well, first of all, my name is Candice Kuoko and I am the designer and owner of Kuoko. Um, and I think first off, most importantly, I'm a mom. I have two babies. My son is two, my daughter's seven. Um, so that's the first most important thing about me. And uh, next is I'm a, I mean, I'm a designer. This is what I do. This is my life. Um, and if you, a you asked what my label stands for, correct? Yes, right? I sure did. Um, you know, I think it's really simple. It really, it, it's just, it's a symbol of uh, strength for women and an empowerment for women and what that means and how you can embody that as a woman. And um, what inspires your designs, Candace? What inspires me as a designer? You know, you know, every designer they do they do it differently, you know, through collections throughout the years. Um, these are early on stages for me as a designer. I'm just a baby in this field. But uh, for me, it's never the tangible. It's always the emotional value of something. It's really about telling a story, right? Like telling your own story. Um, it's not going to be uh, about, you know, I'm never going to say like the tree inspired me or this is a collection about trees. It's, it's going to be um, something more than that. It has to body, embody an emotion. Like right now, for everything for me is about strength especially for women, mainly for women. <laughs> we need Miss Kirsten here. I know. Um, hmm. So this is your first time in New York, and, and this is my first how has your experience been here? And showing I here love in New York. I love New York. You know, it's like a bigger version of San Francisco. Um, only it fucking snows here. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I came here, I was invited um, to show at the hotel, and it's just, it's a platform to get into the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, and I, I enjoyed it. You know, we did Runway the Real Way, um, and I loved it. I mean, the atmosphere at every show, any show that I do, it is what I make it, right? It's, it's going to be the story that I tell, and I don't know, I think my story is pretty fucking badass. And where do you plan on taking this current collection? How this do you want to roll collection. this out? Mm -hmm. Well, right now we're in production. You know, we're working with West Coast Leather. Uh, Skip Paws, fucking bless his heart. He gave me, basically, I always say, my creative wings to fly. I mean, he opened, he opened that door that's been shut for me for so long as far as production. And because any, any designer knows the it's a beast. Production just in itself is a whole nother field world. And he just basically like put it in my lap. He handed it to me. He gave me the possibility to put my garments on the rack, basically. I mean, we're selling out of Union Square and um, online and, you know, we have a lot of leads. It's, it's exciting. So you're bringing that collection out to the masses. And yes, more women, yeah. more women in the obtainable. world will have access to Fuck yeah. your designs. It's so obtainable designs. right now. You, yeah, it, it, order it, and it's you can order it. You can have it. You can have cocoa leather. That must be really exciting for you. It, you know what? I do not get excited about very many things, but the moment that I went into production, I was emotionally exhausted after that because I was so fucking excited. That's a major, that is a major milestone, not only for, for a designer, but also for myself as a young woman. I mean, to, to reach that point in your career so early on, I've only been doing it for 10, 10 months, it's, it's, it was something definitely to be proud of, and I'm fucking proud of it, and I thank my lucky stars that Skip kind of handed me that golden egg. And I heard a little birdie told me that you have something going on in the UK as well. Can you explain to me what just took place? Who was that little birdie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I had the chance to travel to London um, and work with a few people. Um, 
And it sounds like, you know, I'll be showing for London Fashion Week this September, this year. And it won't be this next, it won't be my last collection, actually. New York was the, it was kind of like my conclusion, my, my saying goodbye to my very first collection that's brought me a very long way. But I'm excited to redesign a whole new collection with different, different theories, different values, different textures, materials, obviously leather. But, um... We're fucking coming to, new, to, to London Fashion Week. I really think that says something um, to you and the world as a designer that you're closing one chapter. You're kind of wrapping up a collection that's going to go into production and the world will receive that in, in the mass market, in the retail market. Yeah. And then you jumped the pond and you went to UK and you're going to show a brand new amazing collection to the UK. Well, you know, I mean, it's all... Um for me, it's it, it's all the same, you know. No matter if it's here in the U.S., if it's there in the U.K., if I take it to to Japan, I mean, it, Italy, it's it's all the same. It's still it's still my story that I'm trying to tell and just and share. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to say about um, what you instill in your your collections in the way women wear their leather? in the story that you put behind your designs, in the silhouettes? Yeah, you know, I think it's really important um, as a woman to have confidence. And a little bit of leather can go a long way. You know, I mean, anybody knows. It's like the difference between, um, I said earlier in an interview, it's the difference between having a red lip and not. Or, you know, putting on a dress, throwing on a pair of stilettos. I mean, it's just, you just embody a different, a different feeling. You become something, and you, fe you feel empowered. I mean, and that's just the feeling that I want to give women. I so you plan on teaching confident. women, you plan on showing others and teaching women how to wear Kuoko? Yeah. You know what? We're actually, a lot of women, I think that they can't, they don't um, understand the translation between, you know, when it is appropriate to wear leather. And you, I mean, the dress that I just uh, redesigned, um, my gown got studs in, on it. Um, it's a it's a full full length gown. Hits the floor. It's got a tail. We cut the bottom off. Um, took the studs off, and you could you know you could basically get up, get dressed, put your stockings on, leather dress, white button up, throw on a pair of pumps, put your hair in a bun, and go to the office. When you leave the fucking office take that white button up off, put your hair down, and put some lipstick on, you can go out. I mean, it's just, it's it's all in what you make of it, right? You're telling a story. So you're taking a full conceptual gown that you made in your first version one of your collection, and you're going to make that the little black dress? Yes. I've heard rumors about that dress. I think it's called, what is it called? Maria. Yeah. And that comes Maria from your dress. Italian background? Yeah. My, my middle name is Marie. Yeah, you know, it, it, it is, it's going to be the new little black dress. I mean, every woman should own that dress. A, a dress that, that you could go anywhere and do anything and feel like you could do anything in. And from what I Absolutely understand, Candace, positive, too, yeah. now that we're talking about your Italian roots, can you tell me a little bit about, you know, you're pretty amazing. I understand you're 25, you have children. Yes, I'm Can you 25. tell me a little bit about how you walk through life, how you're able to do this. You are a full-time designer, you're a mother, you must have infrastructure. What is it? What's the magic key? You have to have people that believe in you, you know? And then, and not only that, but you actually have to believe in, in the people that work with you. And it's not for you, it's with you. I mean, I could not do what I do without the people that have my back. And, and you know, my circle's small, but that's what makes it more significant, and I think that's what makes me so successful. I mean, I do have kids, and I couldn't do it without my family, and I mean, my friends. It, it just, it wouldn't happen, and I don't even consider them my friends. They're, they're my family. It just, it wouldn't, it has to be a, a collective. It takes a fucking village to do, to be a designer, and to make it, to have a successful brand. Mm -hmm. And I want to be a, um, a full brand. Yeah, I think you have big plans up that 
that leather sleeve of yours. Yeah. I think you're, I understand you're, you're possibly going to be a global brand. And Definitely. Yeah. It's all in the cards. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that when you really believe in yourself and in what you do, right, you just, there is no rush, there's no doubt, there's no question. It, it's not that if it's going to happen, it's when. And that's, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with waiting. Uh, thankfully, I have not had to wait that long for everything that's happened so far. I mean, it's only been 10 months since I've, since the very beginning that I've started. It's, it's been 10 months, and everything everything's happened so fast. Can you say, just put something, put that into a framework for people to understand, look in the camera and tell the world why you think that happened to you, because this is such a critical moment in time. Every person, every designer, every artist would want to know what is it in you that is getting you this. Like, I could guesstimate what that is, but I would like to know, take a moment and look in the camera and tell everybody that's going to ever look at this what you think that is. You know, I, I feel like I have a, a, a energy that, that it's, it resonates from within. And, um, and I've always believed that when you want something and you truly love something and you believe in something, and you put it out into the universe, it fucking gives back. I mean, life's going to love you as much as you love it. And right now, I mean, I couldn't be more fucking happier. That's awesome. I think you're also the fearless one. Like, um, you, you jump in, you do it, it's, you're beyond passionate, it's effort. You put so much effort into everything you do, and it comes back in spades, and... You know, you can't waste you know, time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't think about what's going on now, or what did happen, or what may happen. You just have to trust within yourself and have enough um, belief in yourself, within whatever it is that you're doing, that it just, just fucking do it, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's what, that's what it's gonna take. Balls. You gotta have fucking balls. <laughs> Leather balls, maybe. That would work too. That's awesome. It'd be like good luck charms. <laughs> Leather charms. <laughs> good luck leather charms. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Really appreciate. No, thank you. You sharing.